I never blew my chances. My style is classic. Start if you want the heat, I got it. Listen to her with me. Better prepare, really. Make a step. To Hello, people. How's everybody doing on this Friday afternoon? Hey, evening? guys. What's up? Okay, let me try this again. How's everybody doing on this Friday afternoon, evening, and night? Hope everybody is actually doing uh, wonderful and is following the rule guidelines to this virus. Um, I woke up from a crazy dream and I happened to hit up one of my family members. And um, a family member's fiance contacted me back and I got some bad news, but my uncle has the, the virus. Um, he lives in New York and he got hit with the virus. As of right now, he is being treated for the virus and um, he's doing fine. You wonder if he has contacted me? Yes, he has. I just got done talking to him and he said he's okay. He's fine. Um, I am a little worried because he's the baby of the family. But the crazy part about this virus situation is if you have any family members out there and they don't tell you that one of the family members has the virus, it's really messed up. Because mm -hmm. I found out from his fiance that he had the virus. Then I contacted my family out here to find out if everybody's okay to see if they was going to tell me that he had the virus. No one told me yet that he had the virus that was out here in Pennsylvania. Now, Monroe County deaths numbers is going up. The infection is going up. And I'm concerned about them over there as well. Especially my grandmother. Uh, no one's telling me anything that's going on. And they're keeping it short. Mm -hmm. And it's like they don't want to tell me nothing. I wish they actually tell me something because I don't need to be the last one to hear about anything. I need to be the first one so I can actually start praying and getting it out there so the prayers can be heard. Um, I woke up, I was mad and upset because I should have been contacted that he got the virus. But no one contacted me. I contacted them. It took me to contact them to find out what was going on. I find that really, really messed up. But I just want to basically say, you know, help help us, you know. It's her uncle as well, since we're married. That's our family member that is actually in the hospital right now fighting for his life. Okay, he was a bus driver. He drives buses. So I had a feeling he was prone to get hit with this disease. And to all the bus drivers that is out there, please be careful. Be extremely careful because it's dangerous. You know, you're putting your life at stake by helping people get to point A to point B. Yes. And so are the truck drivers out there too. That too. The truckers is killing it. They're still putting their lives at stake. The cashiers, all of them. Everyone is out there doing the best they can to help us. The doctors and stuff. They're putting their lives out there. And not everybody's taking this stuff seriously. And it's it's 100% seriously. No one's thinking about they sacrificing themselves for us. The troops, they sacrificing themselves for us. And some of them got the virus. But guess what? They're still out there fighting for us. So when are we all going to fight for each other? When? When are we? When are we going to fight for each other? And we all got to basically stay there and be like, okay, I'm going to help you. I see a lot of people that's out there that's actually caring for all of us while everybody else is still not caring. So my biggest thing right now I just want to say is 
Please be careful. Everyone, please be careful. Contact your family members. I don't care if you have any issues with your family. Contact them and make sure they're okay. Okay? Make sure they are fine. Regardless whether you left on wrong terms, contact them. I don't care. Get on that phone. If you can't call them, find a way to contact them. Find them. Talk to them. This is the part where we all need to come together and forget about all the stuff that everybody has done to them. Find out they okay, okay? So, this is the biggest thing that I actually want to let everybody know. Stay connected to your family. Right now, family is the most important thing right now. Regardless whether you hate them and can't stand them. Stay connected. Anything you want to add, love? I think I took it all. Yeah, you pretty much <laughs> said everything. I do it all the time, people. But as for me and my wife, we are home. We do not go out unless we have to go out. Yes. Okay, we do not force ourselves to go out. We stay at home. Mm -hmm. If you do not have to go out, do not go out. If you have to go out, be safe about it. Yeah. Okay. May God bless America and may God bless all your souls. Okay. Amen. I'm, I'm, I'm done. I'm done. Right. So please, guys. Give this video a like, comment, share, subscribe. Hope you guys enjoy this video. And hope everybody have a safe day. See you later. This is the moment. Tonight is the night. We'll fight till it's over. We put our hands up.